the Resus group. The Resus factor is a system composed primarily of the C, D, and E antigens, although it actually contains many more antigens. The RA gene complex is located on the distal end of the short arm of chromosome 1. The proteins are antigens occurring only on the surface of the red blood cells. Antigen D is by, the, by far the most antigenic component and the term RH positive as its general use means that the individual has anti-glutinogen D. Agglutinogen D. The RH negative individual has no antigen and forms the anti-D agglutinin when injected with D positive cells. It was named after the Rezus monkey because it was the first study using this blood. Anti D antibodies do not develop without exposure of D negative individuals to D positive red blood cells by transfusion or entrance of fetal blood into the maternal circulation. However, D negative individuals who have received a transfusion of D positive blood can have appreciable anti D titers, therefore, may develop transfusion reactions when transfused again with D positive blood. Problems arise if a racist negative mother and a racist positive father have a child who inherits the racist positive traits of the father. In this case, the child will receive a chromosome with the recessive gene small d from the racist negative mother and another with the dominant gene capital D from the racist positive father. The later chromosomes can be very problematic in this child. The chromosome is foreign to the mother and should the blood from the fetus escape into the maternal circulation, it will stimulate the formation of antibodies by the mother. In the pathophysiology, the firstborn is not usually affected unless the mother had previously undergone an abortion. During the third stage of labor, when the placenta is being delivered, the maternal and fetal blood mixes and the mother's body is sensitized against the baby's blood. There are antibodies circulating in the mother's blood due to this sensitization. If the mother conceives again and the fetus is racist positive, the antibodies circulating in the mother's blood will cross to attack the racist positive genes in the fetus. And the blood cells are destroyed causing anemia and excess bilirubin in the blood of the baby. The Rh or D antigen expressed by the 30 DGA Many cells pass between maternal and fetal circulation, including at least 0.1 ml blood in most deliveries, but generally no sufficient to act with the immune response. The Rh gene antigen causes more response than the most beta lymphocyte clones recognizing the foreign red blood cell antigens are formed. The initial immunoglobulin M followed by immunoglobulin G in 2 weeks to 6 months and memory beta lymphocytes activate immune response in the subsequent pregnancies. IgG antibody crosses placenta and attacks the fetal red blood cells. These cells then become sequestrated by the macrophages in the fetal spleen where they get hemolyzed leading to fetal anemia. In management of RH isoimmunization, we have antenatal management whereby the aim of this management is to save the unborn baby. During antenatal care, profile blood is taken for grooming and hemoglobin, and the following steps should be also taken. A mother who is a rhesus negative should be closely monitored at 26 to 28 weeks gestation, and blood is taken for Coombs test, which is repeated at 34 to 36 weeks. Antibody titers are estimated. If it continues to rise, then the labor is induced. Blood transfusion exchange can also be done in utero in developed countries. And the care during labor. Labor may be induced by 36 to 37 weeks. Sedatives and anesthetic drugs should be given with restraint since this is a very high risk baby. And preparation should be made for blood exchange transfusion. Care at birth. The cord blood is taken immediately at birth by racer stiving, hemoglobin, comps test, and serum bilirubin levels. A bilirubin levels of more than 4 mg per 100 ml of blood and Hb below 14 g per 100 ml is an indicator that severe hemolytic process has already started. The cord should be cut as soon as possible after birth to prevent further increase in blood from the placenta. Then the length of this, show, this cord should be at least 3 to 4 inches to facilitate use for blood exchange transfusion 
Then you rub the cold with the gauze, soak the normal saline solution to prevent it from drying. You weigh the baby, for it will guide you in calculating the dosages and drugs and blood for accident. Postpartum care involves that administration of anti-D immunoglobulin 72 hours after delivery. Other potential sensitizing events include invasive prenatal diagnosis, antipartum hemorrhage, ectopic pregnancies, evacuation of the molar pregnancy, intrauterine death and stillbirths, intrauterine procedures, therapeutic termination of pregnancy, miscarriage, and external cephalic version.